Easy now. Let's go, boy. Yep. All the day there, girl. Okay, boy.
What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the lab, that's sure. for sure. Why are you walking around so sad? Hi Not there, Arthur. Sad, just bored. Arthur, don't bored. forget, I'm more than happy to craft bored you something. Good. You bring me the right material. Bored means you ain't scared. Thanks, Pierce. Getting real low on meat Grateful here. for being bored, lady. Soon enough, you're gonna be scared. English fully stock. When I was a little girl, I guess I hoped for... I don't know. I used to dream a lot. All right. Let me see. We all dreamt a lot. Then we grew into women. Yes. Cheer up. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Arthur. What you want? Man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> You're all right, girl. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading, exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him, let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent piece. Put your saddle on him and let's go. All right there, Pierce. Come on, I promise you don't want to ride that one bareback. What's taking so long with this saddle? Just let me get this off, boy. Okay, see if you... 
you can get your leg over that brute. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah! What happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there came back in the next day and he woke up started right back drinking again <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys Jenny too she had some spot that girl it must be pretty hard on Lenny you could tell he was sweet on her well Lenny and Jenny could never have worked that's like Arthur and Martha or Bill and Phil <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. He's all right. Stables are just up ahead. Finest meat here. Nowhere else. All right. Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going out to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. I'll meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers, and on me, a new grooming brush, and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you, you treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well. With some good care, you should be able to make something of it. All right, boy. 
All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run. Come on. Up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. Hello. I think this is the wrong way. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains. I sure didn't figure. Jason. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He did stuff for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. <sighs> Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but... If he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. Go! What are you getting off for? Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get us set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> you want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that.
All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. What's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing us up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear Okay, meat. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Come on, grab your stuff. Let's go. Okay, let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie. Is it go? Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? We did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser, but then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why, you thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones. Any sign of him? Well, oh, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. The tracks going to those two. Eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. 
Take a look, then. There she is here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Look. The trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Arthur? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. Now it's too close. <laughs> You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <sighs> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I don't mind either way. I'm going to stick around here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Yeah. 
Let's see what we got. Looks a way off. You're all right, boy. Hold on. You go. Can't you see I'm tracking game here? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Just give me a minute, boy.
Easy boy. Gotta be done.
know, boy. Nearly done. Okay then. Come on. Let's go.
Take long, boy.
You know, while we were stuck up that mountain, I thought long and hard about if we'd have to eat you. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Anything that makes me happy. So, Mr. Pearson was keener on chocolate. <laughs> Said he couldn't bear to see your face for even one moment longer than he We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Hello. You're quite the amusing companion, aren't you? Fine. So. Make sure you get a good price for it. This should keep us fully stocked. Okay, then. This should be some real good eating. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Wars, stupidity, lies. Who makes this crap up? Why are we having a war with the goddamn Philippines? Who cares about the Philippines? What even are the Philippines? Just a big load of nonsense. Yet. Kill. Yeah, it's enough to turn a good, honest fella to drink. <laughs> Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's gonna send me to drink twice as fast. I just can't cope, really. <laughs> I can't. Arthur, Dutch, Miss O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but 
Fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Let's go, boy. I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Here we are. Right off it? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You! I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy I stuff, but Micah... A lot Mikey... of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left alone. Will you shut the Wait. hell up? Get the hell off me! Get out of here! Don't come back. Hey, one last drink. Yeah, just one more. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? friend anywhere? No idea. See that fella I was with? Don't ask me. What are you doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. You know what? I don't know. Oh. Oh. 
your mouth, mister. Not again.
Take that now. Well. You're all good. right. Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, boulder dash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct and I can prove it. I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir!
dumbass. Look who's back. Yeah. Okay, then. Keep your eyes open, Bill. Good morning, Arthur. Just let me get this off, boy. Morning. Good girl. It's all right, girl. <laughs> Easy there. Morning, Arthur. <laughs> Nearly done, girl. Yeah. 
Yep. Long time, boy. Yep, yep. The true gifts of life that are eternal. <laughs> so give generously. That is what this country needs to help each other. Oh, it's you. Let's try and help each other. It's not about survival of the fittest. Welcome to you and your horse. Got some stable space for rent if you're interested. Be generous. Be generous. Help. 
help people. Try to do what you can. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. Please give money to the orphans. Remember. <coughs> That's the same one I used too. It's better to give than to receive. <coughs> Yeah, that'll go real well with the saddle. Let's make this country a brotherhood of man. So give what you can. We're in it together. We can be one. Oh, yeah. That's a smart choice for your saddle. Collecting for an orphanage in San Denis. Please give if you can. <laughs> I appreciate it. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. That's the same one I use too. Come on, too. try and help people. I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use your. <laughs> this horse will pass for nobility when I'm weak. Uh, nice. No harm in gussying your horse up. Mm hmm. Fine luck. Give more. Please. Prove I'll we make this horse prettier than you. Just prove <laughs> we're here for each other. <laughs> It is in giving that we receive the true gifts of life that are eternal. A good choice. <laughs> so give generously, for that is what this country needs to help each other. I'll miss that nag. Real good. I've seen everything now. <clears throat> I hope you don't <coughs> harbor a grudge come against me. Starting to come off. There we go. Let's get.
crazy now. Oi. Yep. Hello. Arthur, come on. Go wash that blood and mess off. Hey, Arthur. Well, I'll take what I can get. This'll help the stew. country for man's desire and not some old world juju
Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Easy.
Good hole there, girl. Yeah. Come on, girl. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um... Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it! You have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up. Stop! You still mam siły. You still mam siły. Yes, 
Stein. No! No, nie! Ah! Ah, no, no, no! Oh, no! Please, no! No, Sam! You remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand it. God damn it! You have a debt to Harris Strauss. Pay up. Stop! Już nie mam siły. Już nie mam siły. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Very valuable. Good? Not good yet. Better be something somewhere. Speak English. What you got behind there? So, uh, przepraszam, nie, nie rozumiem. Move aside. Prosakom nie można ufać. My kind of dash. What do we have here? Moja obroczka, nie! Just keep quiet. Okay. That should about cover things. What's up, Rawish? You primitive, each preach. Yes, I'm zruinowany. Zruinowany.
That's a good girl. Don't take long, girl. Come on. Yep, yep. <laughs> He 
evening, Arthur. Might as well make some money off it. Not the best quality, I'm afraid. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Don't you overcook this now, Pierce. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Still. Evening. Guess all that luxury on me to fat. There ain't no getting fat out here. Now I hold that green shawl. Miss Karen, all good? Too good. I'd like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Stay alert. Yeah. Come on, hold still now. I need to focus. Oh, 
deep this one. Sorry. I feel terrible. Let's go, cool, girl. the patrols when they was I don't think you should just be wandering around here friend not a thing happens around here without an Odrisco saying so right Chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yeah. Last chance to save your hand. Stop. Yeah.
for you, mister. Blow me down. Look, look, I got the money, but it's hidden. Untie me, and I'll tell you where it is. Come on. This ain't God right. damn treasure hunt. You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. You got the map. Do the decent thing. Save me. Aren't you gonna un- I mean? Come on. Hold on, girl. friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just Draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
yes! You want a full time? Yes! Haha! <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, don't take it too hard. How about we raise the stakes and you try again, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go! Shoot! I should, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <laughs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Bastard. You know what? Hand over all your money. You sure you want to get into this? Go bother someone else. I need to find a ranch maid here called Lily Millet. You know where she is? Look, any idea of the whole I mean? Oh, come on! Why is it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week. And I'll get it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn money. Son of a bitch. <laughs> You know what I do to You've got your money. Leave me alone. 
Get out of my way. Here you come. There. 
Got your number. Hey, stop! Come on. Okay.
That's your newest. 